In this video, I'll show you how to teach your horse the halt or stop cue. I use this on a circle instead of drawing my horse in sometimes, but I make sure my draw cue is very strong before I have my horse stop on the circle. If you start having a horse stop on the circle off the line too soon, you may lose some of your draw. I try to make these videos in a constructed format so everyone can do them with their horses. Don't be afraid to do something a little different to teach your horse. Every horse is different, so they might understand something one way better than another way. I teach my horses to stay and come separately before putting them into the same stay-come trick. Teaching this can also help with mark training. The first thing I do to teach this is walking my horse directly into a fence and then sitting back, saying whoa, and putting my stick straight up in the air. I use the fence at the start for horses that want to push past you. I try to not use my lead rope at all. Eventually, I want to be able to do this without a line. Once you feel like they're starting to understand the cue you're giving them, practice away from the fence. You can try either with a lead on or no lead rope. In this clip, Calypso walks a little bit past me, so I go to back wrap again, and then I go back into the same exercise. When your horse starts feeling confident at the walk, you can start trying at the trot. Once your horse is halting right at your side, you can start asking for them to hold it longer periods of time. This also helps with ground tying. A good way to test this is by walking around your horse still holding the whip vertical. You might have to sometimes say the verbal cue. Try to increase the amount of time they say in one spot in little increments. Stay close by to them at the start in case they take a step or move away. This is the start of them staying in one spot while you back away before you call them to you. It's important to keep your whip vertical until you want to release your horse from that spot. I usually keep my whip vertical until I walk up to them and pet them on their shoulder or neck and then lower my whip. As your horse starts to understand the cue more, start increasing your distance away. Give them a little bit more room to make a mistake. The simple correction for this is just having them back up to the spot they were in and asking them to stand again. Start increasing your speed from a walk to a trot or a canter off the rail. You want to make sure your horse stops fairly straight and doesn't bulge out their hind end or take a step with their front end after you ask them to halt. To start teaching your horse to halt on a circle, I bring my horse near the fence line again. That way they're in a chute between me and the fence and can't bulge out that way when I ask them to stop. As you can see in this clip, Lynx didn't lag too much when I asked him to stop, but it was a little bit more than my liking. You can see pretty well in this clip that I keep my whip vertical until I go up to my horse and pet him to release that halt. I always try to remember to do this, that way I don't cause any mixed signals. That's a few of the ways I start teaching the halt and stay cue, which lead to the stay and come cue.